Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here and this right here is RPCS3 emulator running on my android device well in today's video I'll be talking about the current status of RPCS3 android and PS3 emulation on android along with that we'll be testing out the RPCS3 PC version on the emulator android which as you see right here it actually boots so we'll be using an windows emulator for android to run RPCS3 with the help of emulator this is possible now let me talk about minimum requirements if you guys also want to try out RPCS3 on your android devices by the way it actually boots as well here is the screenshot of one of the people who actually tested out rpcs3 on win later android and managed to get the game to boot inside it so minimum requirements wise you will need 6 to 8 gb of ram and also a snapdragon processor those are the only requirements it's up to you guys regarding which version of win later android would you like to use cn or normal global open source version so use any version which you want to and before starting the testing let me talk about the original rpcs3 android port is it possible will it be coming soon what's the status of genuine ps3 emulation on android not emulating ps3 on a windows emulator for android if you know what i mean so the current status is that there are literally this many developers who are interested in trying to port rpcs3 on android that's because rpcs3 in itself started all the way back in 2013 or 2014 in 2017 or 2018 it was released and since that day the developers only want to make sure to get rpcs3 pc emulator running as good as possible uh, including lot of bug fixes lot of compatibility fixes and in terms of performance graphics and much more that's why none of the rpcs3 developers are actually in interested in porting their emulator for android but one day rpcs3 will be coming to android devices mark my words within two to three years it will happen because our android processors are getting way better in terms of emulation and ps3 emulation is just a ladder which will be climbed sooner or later and let's talk about the other ps3 emulators which may be coming soon for android devices they are unknown well daemon ps3 emulator isn't really unknown uh, the developers of daemon emulator were talking about it since 2019 it will probably be paid and won't be helpful at all just like the daemon switch emulator android so don't keep any hopes from daemon emulator team other than that there is no known developer who is working on playstation 3 emulation on android any emulator which you see on play store known as ps3 emulator is 100% fake with that being said let's try out rpcs3 on win later android so let's get started first of all i'll go ahead and open my win later android and let me tell you guys the version of rpcs3 which we'll be trying out it is version 0.0.0.4 not 0.0.4 but 0.0.0.4 because that is the only versions of rpcs3 which will work on win later android let me show you guys my container settings uh so you get the idea of what i'm working with right here you can see i'm using turnip plus zinc driver dx wrapper is wine 8.2 uh seven of the eight cores have been enabled along with that gpu name is 9800 gt uh, let's scroll down video memory size is 2 gb and those are the settings which i am using in terms of dx components direct sound is native windows now let's go ahead and run our container see guys on win later android you can probably emulate pp and also ps2 emulator for android and even uh, xbox games even cmu cmu video is coming very soon by the way i am just waiting for you guys to complete the like ratio on my cmu gameplay video but anyways let's try opening rpcs3 there we go i have tapped on it and rpcs3 has successfully started now here if we just go ahead and scroll to the system option you will see the basic rpcs3 settings same goes with configuration if we go to settings uh, you will see just very very basic options like CPU decoder renderer and it's everything is blank because this is the alpha version of uh, RPCS3 emulator for PC. This build was released I guess in 2016 I'm not really sure. Now I have actually tried booting it but uh, unfortunately it didn't work I just got lot of errors but right here is the screenshot you can see. Uh, this person was actually using RPCS3 0.0.0.5 version which I was unable to find. Uh, as you know rpcs3 is a completely open source emulator and the version which i have doesn't really boot games but the version which he used did manage to boot game it wasn't playable though just sony entertainment that's all you gotta see and it was mainly the fault of rpcs3 emulator because as i mentioned before this is one of the oldest alpha builds of rpcs3 the interesting fact which i am thinking about is will cassia emulator be able to run rpcs3 original pc version the latest version if that happens then it will open a 
huge door in terms of emulation. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about our PCS3 emulator running on our Android devices. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.